That might give me back here from that video. Guys, before I start this video, I just want to show you guys real fast. I did get a comment on someone asking me if I could actually um, do like, you know, a donation system for people who want to donate cards in, you know, Madden. If you guys are quitting Madden or whatever may be the reason, if you just want to donate a card for giveaway, um, you can add me on PlayStation and Xbox, my name on both consoles, I'll show you in a second. But uh, pretty much guys, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting cards up on the uh, trade block. You can add me, you can go, uh, you know, trade block, you can go to limit users, friends only, and you can actually offer on one of these cards. Now guys, I did, I'm did. i doing this because someone commented and said, hey I have PlayStation, I would love to donate uh, some cards to you, what's your PSN? Blah, blah blah so if you like to donate on PSN or Xbox one what I want you to do is once you donate tell me down below what card you donated so I know which you know card is yours I'll add you to a special list you know of people who donated uh, cards just like I have a goat list I'll have a new list of you know new list of people and a new list in general of people who did donate cards now when you donate a card this is what I want you to do tell me the card you donated but under that, tell me what you want me to do with the card. Do you want me to keep it forever? You have the ability to tell me, you keep this card forever, you're never allowed to sell this card. And I won't ever sell the card. So, tell me, do you want me to keep it forever and never sell it? Number two is, you want me to give it away. So, you know, say, okay, well, here's, I don't know, whatever part you might give me. I want you to give it away, you know, this, I want this, and you guys can choose when the giveaway ends. So... You can say like, oh, I want you to give it away at the end of this week or whatever may be the case. Number three, you can tell me, hey, you can sell the card if you would like to, but, you know, here's a free card. Thank you um, so much for it, whatever, you know, you can, if you want to, you can put a nice message, I guess. But, um, yeah, so that's the three ways if you would like to enter, or sorry, like to um, join the new list I'm going to do. It's just for people who donate some cards in this game. Obviously, you don't have to, but if you're quitting my and you're like, hey, Here's a free card, whatever may be the case. If you want to, you know, do giveaway, if you want to do a giveaway for it, I'll definitely shout you out. Um, Nate currently is doing a, um, he's the one who's sponsoring the giveaway for the 95 overall camp channel on Xbox One. I just want to do some more PSN, um, sorry, PlayStation giveaways. And currently I don't have enough coins to do a big giveaway, 58K. So here is my gamer tag, that mutt gamer YT. Now, a big thing about PlayStation, and it's something, you know, I don't really like about PlayStation, but it's something that I just gotta deal with, is capitalization is very important in your name. Capital T, lowercase h, A, T, capital M, capital U, capital T, capital G, lowercase A, M, E, R, uppercase, or, yeah, uppercase Y, T. Be careful, don't get scammed. There you go. And also, um, if you want to be really careful, you can actually just comment down below and tell me, you know, like, uh, did I get your friend request? Because you can add me add me on PlayStation at that game attack, and then what you do is you back out of Madden completely. 100% back out of Madden. You're going to go to limit uh, users, and you're going to see all my cards up once you go under, you know, friends only. So I will add you back. And, yeah, once again, guys, if you like to donate any cards, that's how you do so. On the top of your screen right here, uh, you, oh wait, here, you should see my Xbox Live Gamer Tag, a little picture of it. So, thank you so much for watching guys, enjoy your video. That my gamer back here for that video. Guys, welcome back to another episode of my daily series where I do 30 minutes of sniping. Guys, here is the timer, and let me, there we go. 30 minutes on the clock guys, and let's go. 30 minutes of sniping guys, so every single time I do these videos guys, I just do 30 minutes of chill, relax, laid back, sniping, trying to get some good cards, trying to get some good snipe, and being able to make some coins. Now right there, I probably should have went for that bid, oh, okay, I don't know if I should go for this because I don't know how many people, I mean 26 people, yeah, I'm not going for that because it looks like it's going up every like 10 seconds. And that's going to get quite annoying. So guys, this video is going to be kind of different than what my other videos have been. Um, what we, when we go into snipe. We're going to try to snipe 
the really, really high overall expensive players. So obviously this could go, you know, this video either going to be really, really amazing while I get a good snipe and I'm freaking out, or it's going to be, I'm not going to get any snipes. So I'm going to start off with this, and of course, if we get nothing, we will move on to, you know, the lower overalls. But I just want to start with the higher overalls just to see if I can get lucky and maybe someone puts it up for 150 coins and I can get 150 coin snipe. Who knows? You never know with this, you know? Someone easily could just put this car these cards up for very, very cheap and I'm just, you know, happens to be in the right place at the right time and I can get a snipe like this. So... That's the goal, guys. But obviously, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you slap that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I am running a Marcus Allen and a Cam Chancel. That Cam Chancel right there, I'm running that giveaway on, um, what's it called? It's going to end in about two weeks. If you'd like to join, uh, follow the video in the description. Not in the description. Follow the videos on my channel. I have two videos that say that um, giveaways. In the thumbnail, you'll see giveaway and through the title. That's the second part of the title. You'll see Marcus Allen giveaway, Cam Chancel giveaway. Watch those videos and we'll tell you guys how to enter for these giveaways. Um, again, that, those will at, uh, end about in two weeks, I think. So, not too long for now, but definitely I want to give as many people a chance to uh, join as possible. So, tell you guys, my nose is like weird right now. <sighs> Should be good. Alright, so yeah, I gotta turn my face cam off because my nose is being all messy right now. All messed up right now. Okay, so, again, I don't know if there's, you know, how good of a chance I have of sniping these cards. Obviously, people, whenever, you know, they're putting these cards up, the biggest thing they have a problem with is, and what you want to look for, isn't the 150 coin snipes. It's when people, for example, they'll look up how much this goes for, right? There's Derek Johnson, and they'll be like, okay, he goes for... 310k. They're going to put them up and they'll put them up by accidentally for 208k. Thinking that, oh wait, no, that's not how much he goes for. And messing that up. And that's when you want to be there to take advantage of it. So, wow. I don't know what's wrong with my uh, nose today, but face cam, every time someone face cam, is just like, my nose just looks like, nope. <laughs> oh, not me showing today. Wow. Okay, so. But yeah, so that's what we're going to look for, guys. So for example, someone's selling this card right here. And, you know, and it was called, they're selling this card. And they're trying to sell for $7.25. Someone might mess up and put it up for $6.25. Just trying to sell it real quick and end up messing up. And you're right there. Take advantage of it. But remember, guys, whenever you're doing this method, be very careful. Because you could easily lose coins if you're not. Because what if someone puts it up for, you know, the tax, like, you have to make sure you're still making coins with tax on it. So, you know, if someone puts that card up for like 680, it's not worth it. So, for example, this card right here is two. Well, how much speed does he have? I need one speed, okay. So, if someone puts this card up for, you know, like 240, 230, that's gonna be very, very uh, risky because you could lose coins on that. Because remember, guys, just because people put a card up for a certain price does not mean it's selling for that price. A lot of people have that misconception whenever they're trying to snipe cards. They go, oh, well, this card, you know, is up for like 260 or whenever people are doing wagers, which I might do wagers in the future, just right now, not right now, guys. Um, by the way, I'm pretty garbage at men, as you guys probably see through my gameplays. Um, so if I do wagers, I'll probably just get smacked every time. And I don't know if I, don't, if I just want to keep losing and losing coins. Um, but yeah, so... Anyway, I'm gonna try. I'm trying to get better at Madden. I definitely. I feel like this year has been a huge improvement in me getting better at Madden. But um, you know, I, I'm too. I'm not patient enough to sit there like some people are and like you know do reads and stuff like that and have this whole entire you know set up and this whole entire system. The issue is I used to do that kind of stuff where I have like a game plan and everything like that. The issue is is Madden isn't. You would keep, you, you're not you don't need a game plan and what I mean by that is like everything's random <laughs> so it's so weird how things happen but everything is random when you're playing Madden that's just how it is and we see this with the Madden Bowl the Madden Bowl people the people in the Madden Bowl w ran the same plays over and over again it's not like they change up the plays or they call these crazy plays they just ran the same plays over and over again 
So once you learn those same plays over and over again, it gets to a point where it's like, do you really need to, um, what's called, do you really need to like have a game plan? Because when you, whoever you're playing, most likely, it's just gonna run the same plays over and over and over and over again. So it, it gets kind of stupid to even game plan in this game right now, which is kind of sad because in Madden like 12, Madden 11, Madden 10 time, you could game plan, man. You could have a whole entire game plan, and you, if your game plan was better than your opponent's, you could go in there and easily, you know, destroy your opponent. Sorry that I keep turning my face cam off. I have no idea why my nose is so messed up right now, but I'm just gonna have to, I mean, maybe just keep turning my face cam off um, because I don't want you guys to like me make a weird face because my nose is so messed up. So again, sorry about that guys, but see, once I turn my face cam on, it's like my nose just goes, whoa, 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 do not show, do not show me. And it gets all mad, but anyway. So guys, um, pretty much in the near future, we will be getting golden tickets sometime soon. Um, we're going to be getting Ultimate Legends probably this weekend. Um, the golden tickets, I told you guys this before, but I just want to reiterate it in case you all knew or you just haven't heard me say it. Maybe, you know, I don't know, whatever may be the case. Um, if I, I'm going to try to pull golden tickets this year. If I pull a golden ticket, I'm going to let you guys comment down below and tell me who we make. Now, once you guys tell me who we're going to make, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, what's it called? I'm going to do a poll on the most commented player and whoever's the most commented player is. I'm going to make that golden ticket. I'll let you guys even, I'll probably make a video letting you guys help me pick the stats and everything. And then once that's all said and done, I'm going to be giving the golden ticket away once I end up getting it. So if I get a golden ticket, guys, one of you guys will end up getting it and you guys will help create the golden ticket. So, kind of cool. I, I feel like that's a really good way to, you know, even more give back to you guys just because of the fact that how much support you guys show me day in and day out on this channel. And with every single video, I just want to give a little bit more back to you guys. And that's, you know, my way of doing it is giving you guys the ability to make a golden ticket. And with that golden ticket, we can obviously, one of you guys will end up getting it. See him there, man. He is so cheap at 34k. It's just so funny to think about. And that's the issue whenever I have with, like, buying a team in this game. Is that, like... Right now, I could go out and buy a 10 million coin team like, if I wanted to. Like if I got, if I had the coins, if I wanted to. Um, but like you know, and within a week, that team is gonna be worth like the second you buy a 10 million coin team, that team on Macri is worth about 8.5 mil. So you lose 1.5 mil by just buying your team. And then going down the list, you know, in a, a two weeks, that team is now gonna be worth you know like 7.5 mil. Three weeks, it's gonna be worth 6.5 mil. So it's just so crazy, but you know, the market changed so much in this game that owning any cards, I mean, I guess, I don't know. As a YouTuber, it's difficult because I always need coins, guys, so that I can make more videos. Um, you know, that's how this works. If, if I don't have coins, I can't make videos. Therefore, I can't, you know, I can't uh, provide entertainment to you guys um, through those kind of videos. Obviously, I can just do the normal videos I do now, but I like to do, you know, those team builders and stuff like that sometimes. And the issue is, if, is that if I don't have coins, I can't do those team builders. I can't do all this other stuff I like to do for you guys. So that's the only issue when it comes to coins is, you know, and I know a lot of people like, um, why don't you buy coins? Why don't you buy packs? I don't spend money in this game because I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, get all the coins I had this year with being 8 million and oh, 9 million without spending any money on this game and without having to you know fork over anything and you can just grind your way to the top and that's what I'm doing on PS4 I'm actually starting to play PS4 more now guys and I'm grinding out solos so that I can actually you know get up there and get a lot of solo challenges done I can get a lot of coins and then I can do more giveaways on PS4 and I can also, um, you know, just do more awesome videos overall. So definitely something that I'm looking forward to is just, again, showing you guys, you don't have to spend money on this game. This game, in a way, a lot of people call it this, and I'm just going to say what they're saying, is it's a cash, a cash grab. 
and don't don't be that sucker that gets caught with cash grab guys you know make sure whenever you are playing this game um i know a lot of people like to spend money and i said i i get it if you spend money on this game that's up to you when i'm set your choice but i recommend not doing it because it's a cash grab and when you when you go for cash grabs sometimes you make your, you you know you get what you paid for and most times you won't and that's how just how this game goes um but yeah so it kind of sucks but it's just how it is um you know a lot of these pro packs not pro packs but a lot of these packs in general this year are just crap odds and i mean we have some websites coming up i'm not going to mention any but we have some websites coming up trying to you know kind of give you like oh hey look better pack odds and i just i don't know i i really honestly i feel like for some reason the reason why they don't give us good pack odds anywhere madden and nba anywhere you're gonna any game you're gonna go to is because they don't make as much money back if you're pulling all the good cards so you know if you're pulling all the good cards and you're gonna start getting a lot of coins you're gonna start being able to you know buy packs of coins or something like that or maybe you don't buy packs at all and you're not going to be spending money and giving them money so that's the reason why we don't get good odds it makes sense why we don't get them i'm just saying it's kind of crappy but like if we go to the uh store right now let's see how much time we have left 17 minutes okay we go to the store right now and we go to like this 60k right contains three super bowl uh pass golds or better two golds are better three so uh no sorry two golds are better three silvers are better and two other uh team items so three super bowl um pass gold are better so that's probably about i say 6k about 6k right there two golds are better you're most likely not gonna get a lead out of this pack so i say that's probably about like you know 8k two silvers are better that's probably about 9k and then uh two other team items so you about you most likely gonna get back about nine nine uh, ninety two hundred coins out of this and you spend sixty thousand. And I get it, you know, it's like well that that's sixty thousand with the chance you're actually gonna pull something amazing and then you could make back, you know, double if not triple your coins. But let's be honest, what are the chances you have of pulling something amazing? None at all. I mean, again, you guys saw, saw me a couple of days ago. I pulled 600 or 700k worth of pro packs trying to pull for Michael Vick. I didn't even pull one other than, you know, I think it was that, you know, Chemistry Vick and some other cards um, that didn't go for much at all. I mean, I pulled like the most card, the most coins I pulled for a card in that whole pack opening was 50k. But, um, you know, other than that, I didn't pull like any elites. And I, you know, kind of sad 600k can't get you one base elite i think i know i did pull bowman i think i pulled bowman and that's it so one base elite at 650k i mean that's just how the pack odds all this year you know it sucks I, everyone wishes they were better but i mean if they were better then ea wouldn't make as much money so you can give me feedback down below guys what you guys think but it's just how it is Sorry about that, guys. So pretty much what I did last night, guys, was I did not go to sleep. I walked all night on videos because I, will, I really wanted to get that one uh, gameplay out to you guys. Of, you know, that was called, I think it's called Biggest Fail on Bumble Cover Ever or whatever. I wanted to get that guys out to you guys because I did a lot of editing on that video. And, you know, that's kind of like a gateway onto some other videos I'm going to do in the future where I do a lot more editing like that. So I wanted to see how you guys liked it. And with that, that's um, why well, I didn't get any sleep last night. And I ended up passing out around like 12 o'clock today. So it was kind of weird. Tell me down below, guys. Have you ever just passed out and randomly woke up and you're like, where am I? Where, where am I at? I, I, I sometimes do that for some reason. I have no idea why. I feel like it, kind of like your body just doesn't like, you know, last time you were awake, your body didn't understand that you, you know, fell asleep. So it's just weird. But... I thought it was 93 luck. Was there 93 luck? Wow. So again, just like we always do, guys, we're just going to go through here and we're going to try our best to be able to um, get some of these filters down. Now, I am doing this later at 10 o'clock, so it's a little bit better than I usually do at like 4 a.m. 
But um, the thing about this is that I kind of feel like 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. might be uh, money if it comes down to there's not many cards on the auction block, but there's still people you know on the game because it's not late because it's 10 p.m. EST, 7 p.m. Um, PST, and Mountain Time I think it's like 9 o'clock. So it's not too late and people are still in the game. So this might be the money time. I don't know exactly <clears throat> what time would be the money time. Because the money time, if you guys are all wondering what that means, like, what do you mean by money? The money time is when everyone's on and most likely people are going to be throwing cards up on the auction block. So, you know, that time when people, everyone is just up there and going, oh my god, oh my god, we're going to try um, and, you know, put, um, so like, we're going to try to, um, throw cards up on the auction block and that's the best time to snipe so that's what i mean by that you know the money time the time when you're most likely going to get the most snipes you possibly can so that's what i'm trying to figure out and, and that's probably what I'm trying every youtuber uh you know who do sniping videos are trying to figure out we're all trying to figure out that one magic time so we can help you guys out and you know give you guys advice on what time to actually snipe so definitely um that money time I haven't figured it out yet. Um, my guess would be 1 to 4 p.m. EST, but I'm trying to pinpoint, you know, I'm trying to do my uh, analytics here on exactly what time. So, like, you know, is it 2.15 p.m. EST is the best time or is it, you know, whatever time may be. So, I'm trying to figure out that and that's what I'm trying to, um, you know, pinpoint. So I can help you guys out and we can you know all know what time exactly to snipe because that this has to be a perfect time to snipe guys there has to be it can't just be like you know oh well just 1 to 4 p.m. because some time has to be better than another time just like you know if you snipe before it's gonna be better than sniping at 8 there has to be a, a uh, specific time I feel like after one we gotta look at guys. It's a lot of people, a lot of kids play this game, so a lot of kids know elementary school and stuff like that. They play this game, so the issue is that's also something you have to look at. Is okay, so we have kids playing this game. You gotta think when the kids get out of school, right? They get out of school around um, two, three, four o'clock, right? So around that time, um, so you got EST four o'clock, right? Okay, so oh, we'll say 3 o'clock to get out. So 3 o'clock is when they get out of school. So you got a kind of detailed analysis on this one. You got 1 o'clock PST then. Okay, so if we technically think about it, 7 o'clock is a perfect time for when elementary school kids get out of school uh, to snipe, right? Because you're trying to, you know, you like those kids get out of school, they're throwing cards off in the auction block. And that's when you can actually, you know, go detailed and trying to get these cards. So if we think about that way, now we think about high school. When the high school get out of school, two o'clock, one o'clock, right around that time. So we got that's about four o'clock EST. You know, oh sorry, four o'clock. No, actually, if we do four o'clock EST, then that limits it down to one o'clock EST or PST for high school students on the West Coast. So with that in mind, so we got West Coast, we got one, uh, East Coast, we got four. Um, if you snipe at four o'clock East Coast, that elementary school kids who are getting home from school, they will put cards up plus the high schoolers. So that means you hit high school, West Coast, and uh, East Coast, you'll hit elementary school if you snipe around 4 p.m. EST. Now, if you're going to try to hit, um, you know, East Coast... Um, elementary school, um, you know, sorry, I'm one if you play along. If you're trying to, um, you know, snipe cards, uh, East Coast Elementary School would get out around 3, West Coast, um, then you could do, I don't know, 3 o'clock would be, hmm, 3 and, actually, probably, yeah, around like 3 or 4. So, pretty much, I'm kind of figuring this out, guys. 4 p.m. might be the perfect time to snipe. And you give me feedback down below what you guys think, but I think it's 4 p.m. Based on, like, that might be hitting all the crucial um, time periods for when, you know, people get out of school and people get out of work. 
Now, Wolk is a little bit different, and if you want to, you know, kind of go through and see, okay, what time do people get out of Wolk, it gets kind of confusing at the same time. It gets kind of challenging, so I don't know 100% if I would go and try to, you know, work out the whole Wolk schedule that people do because that just gets, you know, all around confusing. So, Wolk is, you know, when you try to break down, okay, when do people get out of Wolk, can they get out of Wolk at all different times? Some people walk at, you know, 6 a.m. in the morning. Some people walk at 10 a.m. in the morning. So when you do that kind of stuff, it gets kind of confusing. But uh, what I'm trying to do, though, is trying to figure out, pinpoint exactly what time do I think people, most people get out of work. Let's say 9 to 5, right? 9 to 5 job. If you get out of work at 5 p.m., right? 5 p.m. on EST, 1, a, or 1 p.m. PST. So we can pinpoint then around 1 to 5, 1 to 6, let's say 1 to 6, and 1 to 5. 1 to 5 is going to be the perfect time to snipe. So, okay, so 1 to 5 p.m. is when you're going to want to be on the auction block sniping these cards. Now, w with that in mind, what does that mean? What cards you look for at certain times, right? Because that's the magic number is, okay, well, do I look at, you know, all legends on 1 to 5? No. 1 to... Let's say, let's look, look, look at EST time, okay? One to two, one, one to two, we're gonna be looking for higher overall cards, okay? So higher overall, more expensive cards. Three to four, we're gonna be looking for lower expensive cards, kind of like 90 to 94 overall cards. And then um, five on, we go back up to expensive cards. So that might be the, you know, kind of sne sneaky method there, guys. You know, the kind of like the special sauce of methods. If that actually, um, now of course I'm just winging, or not winging that, but I'm just doing, you know, I'm just jabbing, ranting about that, guys. So that, if you guys think that actually made sense and you guys want to try it, definitely do so and tweet at me at that my gamer. I would love to see your guys' snipes. And actually, guys, if you, do get any snipes ever make sure you tweet at me and show me the snipes you get so that I can actually shout you out in a video and show off your snipe because I would love to do that like a top five snipe series so just tweet at me on Twitter uh, any snipe you do end up getting um, does Vince actually sell for this let me see I don't know if Vince actually sells for th this price or if it's just you know Someone has him up and it's like these other guys are overpricing him. I remember Vince used to go for a lot, and especially because he has line pusher. But there's a lot of guys nowadays with line pusher, and that's the issue. Like that Don Terrio Pro kind of kills the price of most line pushing players. Um Actually, it looks like Yeah, he sells for this. Alright, I'm gonna get this. He definitely sells for this. Um it looks like he sells for about, I'm going to put him up for more than what um, the other guy has him for, 115. I'm going to put him up for like 125. And I should be able to get about um, 10, 15k off this. Because he definitely sells for way more than 85k. I don't know why the guy had him up for 85k. I guess he's just trying to get rid of him. But yeah, so I can definitely 100% get 125 out of him. I'm going to put him up for one day. Alright, there we go. And let me make sure I did not mess that up. I didn't put him up for the wrong price, right? I got a hair in my eye, man. Alright, yeah, right price there. Okay. So, um, so yeah, guys. I'm just trying my best to be able to pinpoint exactly what time to snipe. And I'm guessing, again, that's my motto right now. It's going to be 1 to 2. Kind of high overall expensive cards. 3 to 4. Lower overall expensive cards. Five to six, get right back to the high expensive cards. So that's what I'm thinking is gonna be the money right there. But definitely give me feedback down below. What you guys think, do you guys think that's a great idea? Do you guys just go, oh my God, that's awful. That's not a good time to snipe, or that's not you know, a good method to go off of. Um, but definitely tell me that, it's down below what you guys are thinking. Once again, for this video, sorry that I keep um, turning my webcam off or face cam off. It's just because of my nose is for some reason just so stupid today and I don't want to have to you know like draw a weird face on camera because 
my nose just being stupid. But guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you slap that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Time I do these videos, guys. I just do 30 minutes of chill, relax, laid back, sniping, trying to get some good cards, trying to get some good snipe, and being able to make some coins. Now, right there, I probably should have went for that bid. Oh, okay. I don't know if I should go for this because I don't know how many people, I mean, 26 people, yeah. I'm not going for that because it looks like it's going up every, like, 10 seconds. And that's going to get quite annoying. So, guys, this video is going to be kind of different than what my other videos have been um, What we when we go into snipe. We're going to try to snipe the really, really high overall expensive players. So, obviously, this could go, you know, this video is either going to be really, really amazing while I get a good snipe and I'm freaking out. Or it's going to be, I'm not going to get any snipes. So, I'm going to start off with this. And, of course, if we get nothing, we will move on to, you know, the lower overalls. But I just want to start with the higher overalls just to see... If I can get lucky and maybe someone puts it up for 150 coins and I can get 150 coin snipe, who knows? You never know with this, you know? Someone easily could just put this car these cards up for very, very cheap and I'm just, you know, happens to be in the right place at the right time and I can get a snipe like this. So, that's the goal, guys. But obviously, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you slap that like button, subscribe channel if you're new. I am running a Marcus Allen and a Cam Chancel. That Cam Chancel right there. I'm running that giveaway on, um, what's it called? It's going to end in about two weeks. If you'd like to join, uh, follow the video in the description. Not in the description. Follow the videos on my channel. I have two videos that say that um, giveaways. In the thumbnail, you'll see giveaway and through the title. At the second part of the title, you'll see Marcus Allen giveaway, Cam Chancel giveaway. Watch those videos and it will tell you guys how to enter for these giveaways. Um, Again, those will at, uh, end about in two weeks, I think. So, not too long for now, but definitely I want to give as many people a chance to uh, join as possible. So, sorry guys, my nose is like weird right now. <laughs> Should be good. Nice message, I guess. But, um, yeah, so that's the three ways if you would like to enter, or sorry, like to um, join the new list I'm going to do. It's just for people who donate some cards in this game. Obviously, you don't have to, but if you're quitting my and you're like, hey, here's a free card, whatever may be the case. If you want to, you know, do giveaway, if you want to do a giveaway for it, I'll definitely shout you out. Um, Nate currently is doing a, um, he's the one who's sponsoring the giveaway for the 95 overall cam channel on Xbox One. I just want to do some more PSN, um, so I have PlayStation giveaways, and currently I don't have enough coins to do a big giveaway, 58K. So here is my gamer tag. That Mutt Gamer YT. Now, a big thing about PlayStation, and it's something you know I don't really like about PlayStation, but it's something that I just gotta deal with is capitalization is very important in your name. Capital T, lowercase H, A, T, capital M, capital U, capital T, capital G, lowercase A, M, E, R, uppercase, or yeah, uppercase YT. Be careful, don't get scammed. There you go. And also, um, if you want to be really careful, you can actually just comment down below and tell me, you know, like, uh, did I get your friend request? Because you can add me add me on PlayStation at that game attack, and then what you do is you back out of Madden completely. 100% back out of Madden. You're going to go to limit uh, users, and you're going to see all my cards up once you go under, you know, friends only. So I will add you back. And yeah, once again, guys, if you'd like to donate any cards, that's how you do so. On the top of your screen right here, uh, you, oh, wait, here, you should see my Xbox Live Gamer Tag, a little picture of it. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy your video. That my gamer back here for that video. Guys, welcome back to another episode of my daily series where I do 30 minutes of sniping. Guys, here is the timer. And let me, there we go. 30 minutes on the clock, guys. And let's go. 30 minutes of sniping, guys. So every single one of you guys probably see through my gameplays. Um, so if I do wagers, I'll probably just get smacked every time. And I don't know if I, if I just want to keep losing and losing coins. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm going to try. I'm trying to get better at Madden. I definitely, I feel like this year has been a huge improvement in me getting better at Madden. But, um, you know, 
I, I'm too, I'm not patient enough to sit there like some people are and like, you know, do reads and stuff like that and have this whole entire, you know, set up and this whole entire system. The issue is I used to do that kind of stuff where I have like a game plan and everything like that. The issue is, is Madden isn't, you're not, you don't need a game plan. And what I mean by that is like, everything's random. <laughs> so it's so weird how things happen, but everything is random when you're playing Madden. That's just how it is. And we see this with the Madden Bowl. The Madden Bowl people, the people in the Madden Bowl w ran the same plays over and over again. It's not like they change up the plays or they call these crazy plays. They just ran the same plays over and over again. So once you learn those same plays over and over again, it gets to a point where it's like, do you really need to, um, what's it called? do you really need to like have a game plan? Because when you, whoever you're playing, most likely it's just going to run the same plays over and over and over and over again. So it, it gets kind of stupid to even game plan in this game right now, which is kind of sad because in Madden like 12, Madden 11, Madden 10 time, you could game plan, man. You could have a whole entire game plan and you, if your game plan was better than your opponent's, you could go in there and easily, you know, destroy your opponent. Sorry that I keep turning my face cam off. I have no idea why my nose is so messed up right now, but I'm just going to have to, I mean, maybe just keep turning my face cam off um, because I don't want you guys to like me make a weird face because my nose is so messed up. So again, sorry about that guys, but see, once I turn my face cam on, it's like my nose just goes, whoa, 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 whoa. do not show my do not show me and it gets all mad but anyway so guys um pretty much that might give me back here for another video guys before i start this video i just want to show you guys real fast i did get a comment on someone asking me if i could actually um do like you know a donation system for people who want to donate cards in you know Madden if you guys are quitting Madden or whatever may be the reason if you just want to donate a card for giveaway um, you can add me on PlayStation and Xbox my name on both consoles I'll show you in a second but uh, pretty much guys what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting cards up on the uh, trade block you can add me you can go uh, you know trade block you can go to limit users friends only and you can actually offer on one of these cards now guys i did i'm doing this because someone commented and said hey i have playstation i would love to donate uh some cards to you what's your psn blah blah, blah. so if you like to donate on psn or xbox one what i want you to do is once you donate tell me down below what card you donated so i know which you know card is yours I'll add you to a special list, you know, of people who donated uh, cards. Just like I have the GOAT list, I'll have a new list of, you know, new list of people and a new list in general of people who did, donated cards. Now, when you donate a card, this is what I want you to do. Tell me the card you donated. But under that, tell me what you want me to do with the card. Do you want me to keep it forever? You have the ability to tell me you keep this card forever. You're never allowed to sell this card. And I won't ever sell the card. So tell me do you want me to keep it forever and never sell it number two is you want me to give it away so you know say okay well here's I don't know whatever player you might give me I want you to give it away you know that I want this and you guys can choose when the giveaway ends so you can say like oh I want you to give it away at the end of this week or whatever may be the case number three you can tell me hey you can sell the card if you would like to but, you know, here's a free card. Thank you um, so much for it. Whatever, you know, you can, if you want to, you can put it in. All right, so I got, got to turn my face cam off because my nose is being all messy right now. All messed up right now. Okay, so, again, I don't know if there's, you know, how good of a chance I have of sniping these cards. Obviously, people, whenever, you know, they're putting these cards up, the biggest thing they have a problem with is, and what you want to look for, isn't the 150 coin snipe it's when people for example they'll look up how much this goes for right there's Derek Johnson and they'll be like okay he goes for 310 K they're going to put him up and they'll put him up by accidentally for 208 K thinking that oh wait no that's not how much he goes for and messing that up and that's when you want to be there to take advantage of it so wow I don't know what's wrong with my uh, nose today, but face cam, every time someone face cam is just like 
my nose just looks like, nope, no, oh, not being shown today. Wow. Okay. So, but yeah, so that's what we're gonna look for, guys. So for example, put someone selling this card right here, and you know, and it was called they're selling this card, and they're trying to sell for 725. Someone might mess up and put it up for 625. Just trying to sell it real quick and end up messing up. And you're right there. Take advantage of it. But remember, guys, whenever you're doing this method, be very careful because you could easily lose coins if you're not. Because what if someone puts it up for, you know, the tax? Like, you have to make sure you're still making coins with tax on it. So, you know, if someone puts that card up for, like, 680 it's not worth it. So, for example, this card right here is two. Well, how much speed does he have? And they want speed, okay. So if someone puts this card up for, you know, like 240, 230, that's gonna be very, very uh, risky because you could lose coins in that. Because remember, guys, just because people put a card up for a certain price does not mean it's selling for that price. A lot of people have that misconception whenever they're trying to snipe cards. They go, oh, well, this card, you know, is up for like 260 or whenever people are doing wagers, which I might do wagers in the future, just right now, not right now, guys. Uh, by the way, I'm pretty garbage at men. As